Brody, listen, you outlined a lot of different factors that went into your decision to hire Luis Rojas as your manager here. Um, certainly, a lot of guys that, that you went through the interview process with had at least similar qualities. What, at the end of the day, really pushed Luis over the top for you? Well, clearly familiarity. I mean, he had a long history with the organization. He mentioned in his opening comments that he considers this his baseball family. You know, his, it's the only organization that, uh, that he's ever worked in it's outside of being a player. Uh, we got a chance to know him, at least personally, over the course of the last year on the Major League coaching staff. But the players knew him, the players trusted him, and he understands exactly what we're trying to accomplish at spring training this year because he's helped build our program. And that was, that was a big, big part of it. When you came in last year, I'm sure you heard some things about Luis, but ultimately getting to work with him on a day-in, day-out basis, what was the, the one trait above all else that stood out to you? You know, I mentioned consistency in my, my comments that he's just steady. He is unflappable, and he's a guy that, that when he speaks, it has impact. And uh, you know, seeing him interact every day in a quiet but confident way with the players as a, as a quality control coach was, was definitely eye-opening. But, but even more so is over the course of the last three months with the new coaching staff, he had a leadership voice, and he was starting to demonstrate some of the uh, logistical execution strategies that we were going to need in a manager, and he was already way, way ahead. You mentioned the relationship that he has with the players, and, and he talked about that a little bit. Certainly a lot of them came out aggressively on social media when this came out, um, voicing their, their enthusiasm for the pick. Why do you think that he's been able to connect with, with so many players across the board the way that he has? Well, he has history with them. And you know, all of our you know, homegrown players have had some touch point with him in one way, one way, shape, or another. And his authenticity as a coach and his commitment to their success as a player development guy is, is impactful on young players. The fact that he also stressed winning along the way in the minor leagues, I, I'm sure has some, something to do with it. But they're, they're proud of him. They, they like him. And you know, this group has, has a real bond because there's so many homegrown players. And, and he's an extension of that. I know this happened pretty quickly, obviously, over the last week or so. But uh, did you reach out to any of the players to get their input on Luis, even behind the scenes, in a way that, that you may not have known him? We had a number of players reach out to us proactively. You know, when we went through the process back in October, we did a lot of diligence on all the candidates, including Luis. So we had a pretty good handle on what our players thought of him then. But it w was exciting, and it, uh, I'm sure it meant a lot to him as well. The players reached out proactively on his behalf in the last uh, in the last week. What did they say? They said, uh, "This is our guy." They said, "He knows our, he knows who we are." And you know, one of the players specifically said, "He knows us. We have a good thing going." Let's, uh, let's keep it going and let's not pivot or, or uh, regroup to go in a different direction. As you look at his history as a manager in the minor leagues, there is experience right there. It's not major league experience. In your mind, is there a difference there or is it essentially the same job just on a bigger stage? Well, there's always a, a difference because you, know, you have more coaches involved. When you're a minor league manager, it's your show and you're responsible for so many things, which is where we felt confident about his leadership because he's going to have to multitask in this job. As a minor league manager, it all falls on your shoulders. Um, here he's got more support. He has more, uh, more personnel both on the field and in the front office to help him do his job. And we think the leadership qualities that he demonstrated in the minor leagues will translate very well to running the games here. So Brody, Luis is 38 years old. You have Jeremy Hafner who's 33 years old. So you have some youth on that coaching staff. Uh, I think that, that people could look at that one of two ways, right? Clearly you look at it as a positive. Why do you feel like having coaches that are in some cases younger than some of the players on your roster, why is that a positive to you? Well, it's a combination. Players relate to people who they can identify with and sometimes people who are a little bit closer to the peer group of the players that are playing, there's a there's an immediate bond that can be formed. We also have a few gray hairs on our, our Major League coaching staff. We've got experienced guys in, in Chile. We have experience with Ricky Bonus in the bullpen, uh, obviously Gary DeSarcina and Tony DeFrancesco. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and I, they can provide a good balance between Luis's youth and, and experience that these guys are going to lean on. All right, finally, Brody. Um you know, listen, I, I know you can't comment specifically and won't comment specifically on, on other players and other organizations. There continue to be rumors about a potential interest in a Starling Marte just in general. Um, I know you're always looking to improve the roster, but as you look at these next couple of weeks heading into spring training, how aggressive 
would you say your pursuit is of a major upgrade in any area versus just around the periphery? Well, I've, I've tried to say this in recent weeks of how confident we are in the roster that we have. We, we really do believe in the group of guys we have. We think that we have talent at multiple, uh, not just at every position, but also some depth po possibilities as well. We're not looking to do anything dramatic to change who we are. This is uh, sort of speaks to Luis's hiring as well, is that we want to keep the identity that we have. I doubt, uh, doubt we will make something, some type of deal that would disrupt that, but we'll continue to be opportunistic on ways to, to upgrade our roster, but, but uh, not, not lose sight of who we are as a team.